Good morning, guys. We're on the sand again. I'm joined by my friend Mo today, and uh, we're going to be checking out and uh, hunting some halibut. It's uh, after the first night of the Grunion run, it's a negative tide, as you can see, but the tide swing is super fast. So we're going to try to get maybe a one hour window here. Uh, I'm going to be throwing the Lucky Craft, and this is the Super Glow MS MKB. And uh, so we're gonna be throwing that. I got a, I got some swim baits on there if, if uh, the the salad gets in the way. But we're gonna try to have a good session. Bottom line is we're hardcore. Like Mo and I, I think we're bonded by our desire for fish. We're gonna try to get a line out, um, and uh, we're gonna try to have a fun time. Let's get it. So again, as always with the lucky craft, uh, nice steady retrieve. Keep tension on your line. Try to do the bare minimum while keeping your line tight. So slow roll is a trick. You want to feel, ideally, depending on the sensitivity of your equipment, you want to be able to feel the wobble of your lure. Try to identify the current. So there's some heavy rocks right over there. So as best you can, when you're fishing heavy structure like this, um, if you have a chance to check it out at the low tide, kind of look to see where the structure is before casting and uh, try to ca cast in between the wedges. And what I found is halibut will hide out um, next to these little rocks. Sandy bottoms all obviously for sure, but uh, halibut will hide out. Um, and right now there's flat sandy areas and there's little drop off and little pockets. Oh, I got a fish on, guys. Small one. I'm on. Small halibut. But yeah, just tossed it um, next to the rocks and he thumped. This guy's like a wet rag, not really fighting. On the super glow. MKB barely got him hooked. Little guy. A uh, really small one, maybe like 14. But um, always good to feel the bite. And you gotta catch the smaller ones if you want the big ones too. So again, just fishing those little channels. Um, grateful to get that bite. A little halibut on the 110. Super glow MKB. Getting around 14 inches, 16. So um, always grateful to get the bite. Small little guy, 16 inches, um, but got him on the Super Glow. The Super Glow MS MKB. It's a brand new color. It's hot, guys. It's hot. Got a short one out of the way. Let's try to get some more, man. So on that fish, there was a big rock, and I actually casted slightly left to it and tried to retrieve hugging the rock. And he hit actually like around right ahead of the rock where the rock was. Dude, so if you find the hole, so see how the hole starts right here? Yeah. And then if you can see a current and if the water's pushing like this way, then the fish are most likely to be piled up at, the, at that side of the hole, as opposed to like that side of the hole. Yeah, I think so. I, I see the water kind of going this way. So there's a chance, if I were you, I would cast, cover this little side because the fish might be piled here because the bait's getting pushed this way, right? So they're facing this way. So if you just cover this side. Where the bait is coming. Right, so they're, they're always going to pile up at the side. So not only are they going to be in the holes, they're waiting, they're waiting on the side where the bait's going to be pushed towards them, right? Yeah. But yeah, work, yeah work, work like this little area. Um, if I were you, that's what I would do. <laughs> on? Sweet. Oh, it's a good one. That's, I think it's 20. Oh, yeah? yeah, it's, it's close, it's close to illegal, bro. I think it's 20. If it's illegal, it's gonna squeak. <laughs> It's bigger than the one I caught yesterday. 
So if you want to get a true one, you can just put it right on, put the halibut right on top, like that. So, yeah, mouth closed. Oh, so it's about 20, almost 20 and a half. Insane, huh? Yeah. <laughs> so, what was your retrieve, brother? What, what did you do to get this fish? No retrieve. Hey, you know, the, the rocky area, so I could get Yeah, and uh, okay, cool. Were you hitting that little pocket? Yeah. Yeah, dude, right at the edge of it, right? Nice, nice. Can't beat it, man. First uh, 30 minutes we're out here, and both of us got on a bite. Last year when I fished with Mo, Mo was fooled by the illusion of a YouTube fisherman, but it turns out Mo's a, Mo's a slayer, man. <laughs> um, even the first day I fished with him, uh, you could just tell he's just super fishy, man. Like, he... <laughs> Uh, and I'm not even just saying that, and this is proof, um, he's just a fishy guy. And some people just have that knack, you know? So, great job there. Yes! You know, this is my best uh, time. Oh, dude. Oh, this is the biggest one I've ever seen. Oh, really? Yeah. It, it's just a matter of time. Yeah. I mean, you're, you, you, you have to be able to fish a lot to make it yeah. happen, and you did. So. so, this is my friend Mo, and I met Mo last year. Um, how, did I, how did you hit, because you hit me up, but where did you find, like, uh, where did I meet you from? I met you through your YouTube channel. Oh, okay. Looking for like for Vina fishing. Yeah. And your video came up. Okay. We actually met on the YouTube before CSS. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, so I, I wasn't quite sure, but I know you hit me up and we were kind of messaging each other and then you were in CSA. I wasn't sure which one came first. Yeah, YouTube first. But see, this is just a perfect example of social media. Social media can be an ugly place, but it's also a beautiful place because you get to meet cool people. You know, so I'm very, very grateful. Now, I know I'm talking too much. Go get that legal. <laughs> Mo's looking for his legal. He's a slayer. He's going to get him. Let's try to get him today. The window's closing. Keep hitting that pocket, bro. It's all you, huh? Let's go. Bro, they stack, man. There might be more. Yeah. Let's get one more. One more. So right here is a nice little hole. Water's moving a little bit this way. So we're casting, trying to, have to hit the edges of this. Um, it's... The halibut video I made on how to catch halibut, I'll have it linked above. But whenever you find a hole, look for the water movement. See which direction it's moving. If it's going north, hit the, hit the north side of the hole. Because the bait's getting pushed this way, that's where the predators are. Bottom line with fishing, you know, at the end of the day, it's all luck, you know? Like, I mean, it's not all luck, but, you know, fish have to want to eat. But it's the best fisherman is all about narrowing that bite window down. Oh, Mo's on another one. Mo with another one, it's a little baby. But that's okay, because uh, a fish is a fish, right? It's all that matters. Heck yeah. So Mo with a very productive morning already. Um, halibut, yeah, when the going's good, it's, uh, you know, getting a bite is, seems easy, but more often than not, it's, uh, it can be a grind. It is a grind. I go, let him get bigger. Hopefully in a year or two, he'll be legal size. Oh, he's swimming the wrong way. Outstanding, my friend. Outstanding. Try to get one more bite out of this spot. But it might be time to move. He's swimming towards me. Oh, so small. <laughs> Halibut number two, another small one. Mo still got the kicker jackpot. We got four this morning already? Huh? We got four. Yeah, there he is. Another short one. All right, guys. Got a, a, a little baby again. Uh, probably about 14. Um, on the Super Glow MS MKB. And he hit really hard. I thought it was going to be a good fish. But again, uh, Mo and I, we've been hitting this structure, hitting the stretch. We've got four halibut topped off by Mo's um, 20, 20 and a half over, 20 and a half? Yeah. About 20 and a half. Um, it was a nice size. We thought it might be illegal, but it was short. Um, but it's been productive, man. You can't complain when you pull out four halibut out of one hole. Um, not bad, man. We've been here maybe like an hour and a half. So, um, going to let this guy go. But again, um, find the structure. 
find the rocks, um, hit the edges of those, see where the currents, see where the currents flowing, and uh, hit that area. So, um, so far it's been a super fun morning, man. We haven't found that kicker fish yet, but we're gonna keep trying. So let's go out and get some more. Thank you.